So you want to win an NCAA championship. Some think it's easy, and on paper, maybe it is. Just win the next six games in a row, and you've reached your goal. But as Dickie B is going to tell you, these are the toughest six games to play. And you'll see that in today's game between the Indiana Hoosiers and the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Hilltoppers are clearly outmatched on paper in this one, Dick. What's the key to pulling off a victory for them? Here are a couple keys, Brad. Number one, don't let the other team dictate the tempo and the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Second, make sure you get a hand up on every outside shot. Get a hand in their face. Thirdly, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Trying to pack it inside. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Both teams looking to get things going here. Inside, he looks at the hoop. For two. Unbelievable, look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. They work it around the perimeter. He unloads a three, makes it. Fed the low block. And up. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Dump it inside. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Looking for a good shot. Looking for contact. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> for the bucket, and off the mark. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Look at that spacing. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lead. Anticipating really well. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. At the free throw line. Opportunity. He hits it. And he got them both. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Now they'll bring it up. Oh, what a strip, Rod. He'll regroup the offense. They're working around the perimeter. Shooter spotting up on the three. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Puts up the tray. Way off target. Defensively try to stay with his man. He's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside. And they attack him aggressively. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. the elbow they feed down to the low block good fake 
Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Inside. Number three is emotionally pumped up. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Tries for two, and he missed. He puts it in with contact and all. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Number 20 takes the feed for three. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. The power forward with the ball. Goes up for two. Ooh, look at a shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. He gets it to go. Coming inside. The frustration right there. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. He shoots from outside. He shows the sweet touch. Great anticipation defensively. On the dribble, gives it up. Number two. The bucket counts and one. Hey, great composure to take the foul and still get the shot off. Number 22 going to the charity line for the first time tonight. Foul shot, no good. They're working around the arc. Turns it over. The point guard takes the pass. Both teams looking to get things going here. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Entry pass in the paint. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. Brad, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. Here's a flash from the high post. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face it. Blocked! Nice job defensively. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Working around the perimeter. Gave it up. The small forward gets the ball. A high screen. Here's a double team. Another turnover. We're not talking about the turnovers either. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. They move it into the front court. He shoots from long range. He hits the shot. Wait a minute, let's replay that one. The power forward gets the pass for two. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and on the move, and he does it exceptionally well. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step. And we'll run. Had a momentary look from three-point land. On the outside, 
Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Takes away the pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams. And as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. The defense senses a five-second call. Picks off the pass. They work the perimeter. On the outside. Turn a fadeaway jumper. Can't get the shot to drop. And he scores despite the half. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He bombs from outside. Off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. For the bucket. Doesn't go. Tries for two. Number 32 draws the personal. Number 32 steps to the line for the first time. Cashed it in. Western Kentucky have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon NBA. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in the foul. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. Step out on that screener. This is what you're supposed to do down low, go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Shoots from outside, way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. Gave it up. Got the shot if he wants it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Off the rim and no good. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. First one is good. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Picked off.
the dribble, gives it up. He fakes the shot. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He shoots from the top of the key. Western Kentucky is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He puts up the three ball. Up and inside. Puts it up, way off target. Leans in. Gotta make that baby at that right open angle. Have a chance to lay it on the glass for easy goose. He intercepts it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. And now with a power move on the... Rejects it. Pushes it up. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Number 22. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. And now he's got a little something for the crowd. They're not going to like this. They're going to be offended. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Number 22 going to the line for the first time tonight. He gets it to go. Puts up the tray. Buried it. Double team now. Bad angle. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. The bucket perfectly executed. The ball goes out of play. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the taunting. The Hoosiers seem to be just down emotionally. Hey, they may be starting to sing the blues a bit. Emotionally, these guys are down. They better wake up. Nice fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. And off the mark. Intercepted. Looking for the foul. Got it. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Well, I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. That's spacing. The fake. Good Got a point. nice screen. Goes up for two. They still don't score. He 
He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. He used the screen perfectly to put it inside hoop. Steals the pass. say right here Mr. Vitell flop city I tell you one thing <laughs> absolutely a flop no doubt Mr. Nestler picks off the lazy pass jumps into the defender up and in in front to take it away. Now they work it around the perimeter from beyond the arc. Off the rim and no good. Dump it inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Can't get the shot to go. Looking for a good shot. Tries a three. Way off target. On the outside. Picked out of the air. In all alone. Leaning in. Trying to draw contact. He buries the shot. to pick up the defense here now. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Working it around the perimeter. He tries to knock down the three. Great screen set up, but the shot won't go. They work it around the perimeter. He tries the three. Oh, yes. Here's the offensive drop step and the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. And that's basic. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Pressure that basketball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Off the rim and no good. Shot clock is dead. from downtown, way off target. Moving it around the perimeter. From left of the circle, off the rim and no good. At halftime, the Hoosiers are down by 16. It's been an entertaining one so far, Dick. We can say that. What's your play of the half? The threes were the key for me, Brad. In my books, this shot sparked morale more than anything. When you're hitting threes, everything else comes a lot easier. The teams are just about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's see how this one unfolds. Indiana has a lot, a lot more turnovers than I'm used to seeing them have in the first half, Dick. I must admit it, I'm still trying to figure out their game plan. Do they think they can win without any offensive possessions? It would take a miracle for that to happen. 
Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Erin. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. The Hoosiers trail by 17. Now they work it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. The land. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Charged with the foul. First personal foul. The post flashes up high if he wants it. The small forward handles the pass. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For two, perfectly executed. There's the screen up on top. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, right? Very important. He launches the bomb. Off the rim and no good. For two. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. And working around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. One too many dribbles and a steal. For the bucket. They still don't score. Nicky's working on that low block with a tremendous block. Fast break possibility coming. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. A wide open look. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Hilltoppers are ahead by 13. The center receives the ball. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And he knocked it home. Big time three, man. That opens up the defense when you make that perimeter shot. Picked out of the air. On the outside. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. That's a seven zip run. The Hoosiers have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. He tries the three. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Go, 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 go. 
Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the free throw line. Makes the first. That's an eight-zip run. He makes the second. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He can't miss. And his young man's feeling it for that. for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Will take the shot. Rims out. Goes up for two. And in and out. Gave it up. Stolen away. Look at that spacing. And we got a whistle with a foul. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I'll tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. The center handles the feed. There's the trap. Looking for a good shot. He fires from long range. Way off target. Steals the pass. Defensively, they keep limiting their chances. Western Kentucky are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to flip them off there. For the deuce. And he missed. The point guard receives the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. Great front rejected out of there. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Takes the shot. Off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. Looks at a three. Rims out. Looking for a good shot. Three. He can't get the hoop to fall. Working it around the perimeter. There's the rejection. Picks off 
the pass. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. Adam in the low block, but opted against it. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Basket falls despite the contact. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The Hoosiers have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. Perfectly executed. Intercepted. They'll work it around the arc. It takes the pass in the paint with the fake. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. For two. And the shot blocks. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Picked off. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. is receiving enthusiastic response from the crowd. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Up and inside! Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Watch again! the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He gets it to go. <laughs> For the bucket, he's got to pass those off, Dick. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. <laughs> Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, a sense of urgency down here on the bench. The coaching staff is starting to sense their players are starting to panic, and they want that stopped before any further damage is done. Guys? They work it around the perimeter. And he'll kick it back outside. Shots there if he wants it. No good. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special one. Feet in the post. On the outside. He shoots from downtown. He's doing a terrible job of distributing the ball. They may have to pull him out and let somebody else out there and let him think about it for a while. No good. Intercepted. Side and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Adam 
Momentary look from three-point land. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. Up, easy one. Tries for two. And the bricks just keep on coming, baby. Have to start looking for some easier baskets here, Dick. Turnaround jumper, rims out. Up and inside. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Just their excitement with that jam. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He missed. They worked the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. Number one with the fake. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Jumped in front to take it away. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He shoots from the angle. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Looking for a good shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Off the rim and no good. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. <laughs> Working it around the perimeter. In the pit. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. On the outside. Number 32 is pounded on his way up. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I'll tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Number 23 steps in for the first time tonight. This may or may not have been the right substitution at this point, Brad. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Second shot, good. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He shoots from the top of the key, and he misses the shot. Let's watch 
the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Takes it off him. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Look at that spacing. Whistled for the foul. To the charity strike. Gets the first. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. It's two at the charity strike. up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Can't get the shot to drop. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from the top of the key. Rims out. He shoots from the top of the key. He couldn't get it to fall. Picks off the lazy pass. And again, they look to run. Looks at the three. Comes up empty. He intercepts it. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for a good shot. Fake. Gave it up. Goes up for two. If they can get off some good shots and easy buckets, they might turn around this awful stretch of shooting for them, Brad. Easier said than done, though, right now, Dick. Fakes it. The pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. Nick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. That was the difference in the game. Let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. The Hilltoppers came, they saw, and they